Hey guys, you ready for another one? Um, Inferno Lockdown Pilates. Go get yourself a mat, go get a towel, go get some water, let's, and go get a playlist. Let's go get this party started. Okay, so a little less conversation this time, a little more action, let's just get right into it. So from here, lie down on your back, put your feet about hips distance apart, two fists width, and take a deep breath in through the nose, and exhale, H-A, out of the mouth. Really just let it go. Let everything go that's going on. Inhale again through the nose, hold it in, and exhale, H-A, out of the mouth. And last one here, inhale through the nose, really hold it in, expand your lungs. Exhale, H-A, out of the mouth. Good. So draw the knees into the chest, give yourself a hug, rock and roll back and forth. If you guys have um, a band, you could always get that, use that throughout class. Well, at certain points in class, I'm sure you could use that. Um, you can always go grab a weight. If you have that, um, we always start with bridges in Inferno Lockdown Pilates. So you're going, you know, put the, put, you could put the band on now for your bridges. Um, and once again, I'm gonna try not to take breaks. Um, bake some humble pie, do the best I can. I'm just going to do the best I can. Um, and hopefully you will too. And that's it. That's all we can ask for. So with that being said, let's find our neutral spine. I'm going to put the camera down. Hold on. Take one more second. All right. So feet, hips, distance apart. Inhale. And on your exhale, push down with all four corners of your feet, lift your hips up, squeeze, engage. Inhale and on your exhale, lower your body down one vertebra at a time. Again, inhale, exhale, push down, lift up, hold, squeeze, engage. Inhale and on your exhale, lower your body down one vertebra at a time. Last one here, inhale, exhale, push down, lift up, hold, engage the core, notice your glutes, Lift up more, two inches higher if you can, and inhale, and on your exhale, lower. Connect your spine, one vertebra at a time, connecting to the mat, belly caves into the spine. Let's make that diamond-like shape with our hands, our index fingers and our thumbs. Place this diamond right on your belly. So there's, imagine there's a marble right in between. You move this marble by moving your neutral spine. So inhale, arch the heart up, drop the shoulder blades down, drop the tailbone down, move the marble towards your index fingers, and exhale, tuck. Shh. Belly to spine, marble moves towards the thumbs. Inhale, arch the heart up, and exhale, tuck. Shh. Exaggerate your movement. Last one, inhale, arch the heart up, and exhale, tuck. Shh. So from here, you're gonna toggle back and forth, so you can find your neutral spine. When this marble, imaginary marble, lands right in the middle of your diamond, that is your neutral spine. I want us to remember how this feels. We're gonna come back to this throughout class, through bridges, through uh, forearm plank, through squats, everything. So with that being said, keep that neutral spine. Two fingers can fit right underneath. That ha that's how you know your neutral spine is right there. Keep your feet hips distance apart. Let's do this. So push down with all four corners of your feet. Start your playlist now and let's go. Push down and lift up and down, up and down. With control, grounding into all four corners of the feet. Palms are flat on the mat. Shoulder blades are grounded. You should find the beat in your music and you move up and down to the beat. Just breathing. So I always start the first couple of seconds a little slower and then you find your double time. So let's go a little faster. Go up, down, up, down, or to the beat of your own music. Finding the beat really keeps you in time. Up and down with control. Breathe. So in Pilates, we breathe out of the mouth, through the teeth. That's your detox. We always detox, it doesn't serve us, right? So up and down, beginning to build some heat. Notice how this feels. 
as you listen to your body, your body's talking to you, listen to your body, visualize your results, visualize the muscles that are working. This is going to help with your posture, especially if we sit all day, especially if you stand all day. Keeping strong glutes, really going to get into that core, that centering, working our posture up and down with control. Nice and controlled, guys. Halfway point, you got this. So we got it. Five, four, three, two, step high and hold. Hold your isometric. Now lift your heels up off the mat, nice and controlled, up and down with the heels. So we're gonna get into the calves, keep your glutes nice and tight. Everything is engaged. The heat is definitely there, but burn is great. Burn is change. So don't run from the burn. We have to be comfortable with it. We have to like it. Run to it, if anything. As soon as we start to feel heat, is when we should begin to feel comfortable. Train your mind to start thinking that way. Up and down with control, the heels go up, down, up, down. Glutes are lifted the whole time, nice and tight, nice and engaged. Keep your core engaged so you're not dumping into the lower back. Good. Three, two, step high on everything and pulse. Let's go up, 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 up. Up, up. Nice and controlled. Don't stop now. Shh, 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 shh. Come on, we're almost there. Almost there. Little baby pulses, little baby isometrics, getting into the burn. We got it, guys. We got five, four, three, two, change. Drop it down, hug it in, hug your glutes nice and tight. Rock and roll, time under tension. So you're gonna go right back into it. A second set, wide leg bridges, drop your feet down. So your heels are in, touching the mat, your toes are slightly off and push down and lift up and down with control. Up, down, up, down. Nice and wide. So if you have your resistance band on, still keep the wide leg bridges. You should definitely be feeling some tension there. You could also dig your heels into the mat and lift your toes up. Gets right into the hamstrings. Just keep breathing, keep moving, don't give up. Up and down, this is so good. Just visualize your results. You know this is good for you. It's a hard muscle to get. The glutes are the laziest muscle that we have. They always convince other muscles to do the work. But when we do bridges, this is it. They have no choice. They gotta work for us. Up and down. Keep it tight. Up, 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 up. Detox is on your exhales. The answer is always in the breathing, especially when you start to feel the burn. Burn is change. We're right there. You got it guys. Five, four, three, two, step high and hold. Drop your toes, lift up your heels and just go in and out with the knees, in and out, in and out, in and out. So eventually you don't even feel this. You just start to feel the pain and you just start to adapt. Just in and out, okay, the glutes. They're burning, because they are. In and out with the knees. Almost there, guys, almost there. Not too much longer. We want to keep our glutes nice and warmed up for this entire class, so you're right there. Five, four, three, two step high and hold, and pulse, up, 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 up. 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 Nice and controlled, guys. Little baby isometrics. 10 seconds left. Not too much longer. Up, up, up. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. 
hug it in, hug it in. Give yourself a hug, really stretch that out, nice and controlled. Ooh, this feels good, stretching it out, right? Giving yourself that hug, always stretch. <sighs> nice and controlled. Last set of bridges, you're gonna cross your right ankle over the left, drop your feet down, try to keep your knees squeezing nice and tight, nice and tight together. We're not here long at all, just push down and lift up and down. So you're gonna notice your range of motion is limited. As you go up, down, up, down, grounding into the heels. Use your core, dig deep, keep your knees nice and tight, gets right into the inner thighs. Up and down with control. Find your focus, find your zone. Up, 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 up. Five, four, three, two, step high and hold. Let's come on up off the heels now. Keep your knees tight and pulse. Up, up, up. This is the shortest set we got. Keep your knees tight. That's where your challenge is. Up, up, up. Or as tight as your knees, your body will allow. No pain. But you should definitely be feeling this everywhere. Up, up, up. Don't stop now. Don't stop at the burn. Go to it. You got it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop it down. Hug it in. Move that out and switch it over. Last side, cross that left ankle on top of the right. So last side is the left side. Here we go. Push down without hesitation and just do it up and down with control. Up. Knees are tight. Getting into the inner thighs. Dig deep into the core. Your range of motion is limited when you cross at your feet, at your ankles. Up and down. Ooh, poker faces. Just find your zone. This is so good. So good. Five, four, three. Two step high and hold. Let's come on up off the heels. Squeeze your knees nice and tight and pulse. Pulse it to the end. Up, up, up. Don't stop now. Squeeze and breathe. Squeeze and breathe. Up, up, up. Nice and controlled. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Hug that in. Inhale and exhale. Hug it in. Whatever it takes. I know we need. Oh, I know we need that. So we're gonna come into. Uh, we're gonna come into some cardio. Okay. So let me just set this this timer. Got to set this timer up for our cardio. Uh, one minute sets. We're gonna do um, uh, one minute of mountain climbers. There we go. We're gonna have ten seconds rest, and then we're gonna do one minute uh, of torpedo twists, followed by a one minute forearm plank followed by torpedo squats. Okay, so use your mountain climbers. As you know, palms press, so you're gonna take a nice, good, neutral spine, hold your high plank if you need to, nice and controlled, draw the knee into the chest, one at a time, or give it a try. You're gonna do that for one minute. You'll take 10 seconds rest, coming into a torpedo twist. So you're gonna bend the knees out to one side and shoot forward, bend and shoot. It's kind of like you're skiing, shoot. So getting into the core, but also getting into the obliques. You'll feel this in your quads because you're using your legs to drive both. Followed by a one minute forearm plank with control. One minute forearm plank hold. And then we're gonna come up to stand to kind of shake that off. And we're gonna do torpedo squats. So you're gonna pulse twice, shoot up onto the heels. Pulse twice. Shh with control, 
okay? So it's one minute sets, four minutes of hell, I call it. So that's how we're gonna start our class, right off with a bang. Let's get into those mat climbers. Give yourself a little, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out, give it a little trot. Okay, we're gonna walk out those uh, mountain climbers. Set it up. Good luck to you. Good luck to me. And go. Dig deep, guys. Running it out, drawing the knees into the chest. If anything, we're loosening up our glutes. Give it a trot. Do what you can. Don't stop though. Keep in mind, this is cardio. So we're working that. Finding a good music, a good song, a good beat. Just try to get your, your feet to land with the beat. It helps keep your pace intact. Come on guys, 10 seconds left. We're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, torpedo squats are next. Here we go, set it up and go. Bend the knees out to one side, shoot forward. Bend and shoot. So pressing, using your legs, drag, driving you forward. Keeping a neutral spine. Keep a good pace. Don't stop now. Nice, shoot. Bend and shoot, guys. 10 seconds. Oh my God, Shh, my legs, Whew. two and one, change. Forearm plank is next. Drop your forearms down. Here we go, forearm plank, go right into it. So elbows, shoulders, one straight line. Elbows to toes. Toes to elbows. Gets right into the core. My legs are burning. It's really hard to hold this forearm plank because my legs are burning. Elbows to toes, toes to elbows. That's your cue. Almost there. We're gonna stand after this torpedo squat. So I'm actually looking forward to that. 10 seconds now. Nine, eight, hold it tight. Neutral spine. Four, three, two, change. Okay, come on guys. At this point, let's do it. Here we go. Bend and squat. So shoot back onto the toes. Shoot the hips back onto the toes. Push up with the heels. Make sure when you squat down, you can still see your toes. Nice and controlled. Just keep moving. You want to catapult up. Make sure your knees are not passing your toes. Almost there. Keep squatting it out. Neutral spine. My quads are burning. Almost there, guys. Almost there, I can tell, I can feel it. I can feel it, there you go. Change. 
Wake up. I can feel it. Here we go. All right, we're done. Take a drink. Wipe your sweat. Let's do some abs. Five minute abs. <clears throat> Give you a series of five moves. Oh boy. And in these moves, we're going to do 30 seconds on, five seconds rest. Um, my legs are burning. Um, 30 seconds on, five seconds rest, five different moves, and we're gonna do that twice, okay? So it's gonna be five minute abs. Move one. Dig the heels into the mat, toes lift up, feet or hips distance apart, little baby heel dig crunches, just to get into the upper abs. So, <clears throat> With control, dig the heels with control. Move two, drop the knees down to the side. Do little baby side crunches, getting into your obliques. Side crunch, oblique. If this is okay for you, take a jackknife where the right palm is grounded, draw the knees into the chest with control, nice and controlled. If this is okay, you want more, take straight leg jackknife. You could also do that with one foot down or one knee bending in, okay? Many options. Into our leg lift sections, you're gonna come into a cannonball, extend the legs out, come into a strap. Cannonball, strap. Ah, coming into the jackknives for the other side with control. And then finally, we're just gonna hold our boat hold. So nice and controlled, hold the boat. Shoulders back and down. Core is nice and tight. If you have this, you can do Russian twists or you could just hold the boat hold, okay? Those are your five moves. We're gonna do them twice. All right, so starting with heel dig crunches, okay? Good luck, set it up. Dig deep, guys. Go right into it. Dig your heels into the mat. Toes are lifted with control. Up and down. Getting some heat. Feel some heat. Keep a neutral spine. Don't tuck the chin into the chest. Don't strain your neck. Neutral spine, change. Drop your knees down to the right, come to the jackknives, however you choose, with control. I caution you, don't do these too fast, because you'll burn out, okay? Actually slower. There's also, these are just hard. They're hard. There's no, there's no way to build it. Just focus on your obliques. It's only 30 seconds. Our leg lift se section is next. Change. Cannonball, straddle. Arms up. Good. Go. Draw the knees in. Head, neck, and shoulders stay lifted if possible. Ears and shoulders in one line. Just moving the legs in and out and the arms in and out. Nice and controlled. Other side jackknives is next. Change. Here we go. Set it up. Go. Other side. Coming into that boat hold, coming up next and last. Everything is tight. Everything is burning. Almost there. Almost there. Change. Okay, boat hold. Here we go. Go. Boat hold. Shoulders back and down. Straight spine. 
arms over. If you have it, straighten out the legs, nice and controlled. If you have that, you choose to uh, uh, twist it out. You could certainly do that or just hold the boat, okay? You could also drop the heels down and twist with the heels dra dropped. Many variations here. Core is tight, change, reset, do it again. Heels dig, crunch. Feels good when you pass the halfway point. There's something very liberating about it. Mind to the muscle, focus on your results, see your core working. If you see it working, see a change. Change. Coming to that side jackknife. Here we go and go. With control. Strong core, everything's tight, everything's burning. It's not gonna last forever. Three, two, change. All right, leg lift, here we go. Go. Head, neck, and shoulders are lifted. Take the strap, take the cannonball. Keep the low back connected to the mat. Almost there, guys. Change. Jackknives. Other side. Last side. Go. Come on. Dig deep. Oh, dig deep, guys. Remember, summer is coming. Come on. Come on, we can do it. Countdown, board. Yes. Change. What do we got? Boat, boat pose. Boat. Come on up. This is it. Final stretch. Shoulders back and down, you can grab the knees, but don't, don't. Hold it or twist it. Hold it or twist it. Inhaling and exhaling. We could do it. Almost there. Change, change. Change. Relax. Take a drink. Wipe your sweat. Oh. Wow, that was intense. Stretch everything. Give you your next sequence. Our next sequence is going to be uh, a forearm plank. Not really. It's going to be prone. So we'll do a side plank. And then we're going to switch right to the other side. Then I'm going to turn this timer on again and we're going to do some moves. I'm going to start. We're going to start with mountain climbers. Once again, for 30 seconds into the plank level, drop down, press up, drop down, press up for 30 seconds. Take five seconds rest. Come into some shoulder taps. Shoulder tap it out with control. Try not to do that lower body sway. And then finally, coming into some locust. So you're just gonna be on the belly and kick. Kick with your feet. All the while, do arm rolls. Right arm goes forward with control. Then we're gonna do that sequence again, and then the right arm will come back towards you, okay? So it'll be 30 seconds on, five seconds rest. Let's do this. One minute uh, for our planks to start. All right, gets into our, once again, gets into our obliques. Let's kick, keep them tight. Here we go. Drop that right forearm down. 
set it up. You got this, guys. Go. Right forearm down, left arm up. Things to do in forearm plank. You could bring that left foot forward. If you do that, draw the left shoulder back. So you're lifting up nice and controlled. You could bring the elbow to the knee. You could just hold it with control. And keep your head up. I just noticed I was down here like this. Don't pay any mind to that beat. That just means it's the halfway point. Keep your head up, neutral spine. So halfway point, if you wanna do reach unders, you could certainly do reach unders. You could do leg lifts. Almost there. With control. Five, four, three, two, and change. Lower down. Slowly begin to switch to the other side with control. Left forearm down. Set yourself up. Here we go. Dig deep, guys. Set it up and go right into it. Keep your head lifted. Right arm is lifted. Neutral spine. Core is tight. Glutes are tight. Hug the muscle to the bone. Pay no mind, this is just means a halfway point. So you can start doing your reach unders now with control. So we're gonna go into a little prone sequence coming up, but it's really gonna be some cardio some training, starting with our mount climbers. We're here for five, four, three, two. Good change, relax. All right, set yourself up, coming onto, onto all fours, finding a mountain climber variation. Here we go. Take a minute, here we go. Set it up, dig deep guys, good luck. Go. You're gonna do mount climbers first, then we're gonna take plank levels. So you're gonna drop down from a high plank to a forearm plank, to a high plank, to a forearm plank. So keeping that momentum, keeping that, let's lead with the right, drop down with the right, press up with the right. Next set, we'll drop down with the left. Press up with the left. Come on, guys. Three, two, one. Change. Okay, high plank, guys. Dropping down and up. Here we go. High plank, lower down, press up with control. This can be done with your knees dropped. But using a tight core, Helps you control this up and down with control. Five, four, three, two, change. Not my favorite. Okay, shoulder taps are next, guys. Here we go. Set and go. So it's five seconds, man. Takes no time. Tap it out. Shoulder taps. Tap it out. So good, guys. So good. Four seconds. Three, two. Good, on the belly. Come on. Kick everything. Kick your legs. Lift your heart up. Roll your arms. Right arm goes away from We're going to repeat the sequence again, just like that. So good for us. So good. Inhale, exhale. Four, three, two. 
mountain climbers. Set. Go. You know you can do it. I know you can do it. Sometimes you just have to tell yourself, it's gonna take what I have, but I have what it takes. I know it. I have what it takes. Sometimes it's just hard to dig deep, but we can. For three, two, one. Change. All right. Left arm down, left arm leads. Come on. Plank levels. Press up with the left. Drop down with the left. Press up. Down. Up. And down. Shoulder taps are next. Three, two, one. Those are the worst. They're the best. They're the best. Come on, shoulder taps. We started already. Clearly. We started already. Shoulder taps, guys. No desire. No desire. Come on. Do it. Do it with me. Come on. We can. Dig deep. Change on the belly. On the belly. Here we go. Arm rolls. Draw it in. Draw it in. Draw it in. Spine strengthening, locust, kick, swim. Right there, here we go. Here we go. And chain. Thank God. It's those, those little sequences that you don't think they're the ones I tell you. All right, well, I got a big one for you. I'm gonna give you some moves. Take a drink, wipe your sweat. Let's see where we're at here. Okay, look at my hair. This is amazing, I look awesome. All right, we're gonna do some plank jack push-up. Plank jack push-up. We're gonna do that four times, okay? You're gonna then come to stand and we're gonna do some legs. We'll do our torpedo squats once again. So push down into the heels. Make sure your knees don't go past. Shoot the hips back. Neutral spine. Shoot down. Press up and onto the toes. Arms go with it. You're more than welcome to hold a weight here or two weights as you come up with control. So we're going to go into our torpedo squats after that. Leg will kick into a curtsy. Leg kicks into a curtsy. Left foot doesn't move. You can still hold your weights with control into a curtsy. Followed by a 90-90 hold. So you have a 90 degree front, 90 degree back. You can pulse it up. Or you could just hold an isometric, okay? And then followed by our torpedo twist. Shooting, bend, shoot, bend, shoot. Followed by our torpedo twists. Okay? Right after that, we're gonna take a little bit of a break, but you're gonna come into some tricep dips and some bicycle crunches. So, palms are flat, fingers face out. Lift the hips, little baby dips. Followed by bicycle crunches, okay? So that's gonna be a huge sequence. Um, and then I'd like to get into some burpees, okay? Four sets of burpees. So it's gonna be 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Your burpees, your arms come up. You're gonna pass through squat, elbows touch the knees, palms press, hop back, hop forward, 
Come on up with control, okay? Big sequence ahead, so we can do it. Let's start with our push-up plank jack, push-up plank jack. Plank jack, push-up, plank jack, push-up. All right, here we go. Set it up, dig deep, guys. Go right into it. Take your plank jack, push-up. We're gonna do this four times. You're here for four sets. Inhaling, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Almost there. Change. Nice and controlled. I couldn't wait for that to change, huh? All right, here we go. Set it up, set two. Go. Push up and plank jack. Plank jack, push up. Plank jack, push up. Nice and controlled. Keep going. Don't stop. Almost there, guys. Come on. Dig deep. Just resetting the timer. Change. Okay. All right. Two down, two to go. Here we go. Dig deep. Go. Push up. I mean, plank jack. Push up. Feel this in your arms, your chest, your biceps, your triceps. Oh boy. Don't stop. Almost there. Change. One more. One more. Set it up. Go. Don't stop. Keep the party going. Oh, this is full body. <clears throat> Almost there. Almost there. Almost there, guys. Two seconds. Change. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. That's like... Oh my goodness. Okay, come on up to rise. You're gonna do a couple things. Torpedo squat, kick out curtsy, hold a 90-90, and then we're gonna do the torpedo twist. So we already did two of these moves. Two of these moves have been done already, okay? So torpedo squats first, 30 seconds on. Here we go. Bend, up, remember, you can always grab your weights. Push up with the heels. Shoot the hips back. Use your core for balance. Just keep moving. Almost there. Change. Leg lift, curtsy. Leg lift, curtsy. That's coming up. Kick with your right leg. Here we go. Left leg doesn't move. Go. Leg lift. Curtsy. Kick it up. Curtsy. Some of us have, if you have hip issues, you can always just squat. Curtsy. You could just squat the whole time. But this once again, we're going to target the inner thighs and your quads. 90-90 is next. Change. Left leg forward, right knee back, right leg back. Here we go. Set and go. Just spin. And pulse. Pulse. So good. So good. 
so good. Almost there. Oh boy. Yeah, this is crazy. Torpedo twist, guys. Revisit the beginning. Here we go. Set. Go. Bend the knees. Shoot forward. Bend. Shoot. Keep a neutral spine. Your legs are driving this move. When we're done, you're going to come right back up to stand and take the torpedo squat. Bend and shoot. Bend, shoot. I'll change. Torpedo squats, here we go. Set it up. Go. So you're gonna shoot the hips back. Come up onto the toes. Move like a torpedo, like a cannibal, shooting up. Transferring the weight onto the toes, back to the heels as you push up with the heels onto the toes. Shoot the hips back, do a toe check. Make sure you still see your toes. Almost there. Change. Left leg up to curtsy. Left leg, right leg is grounded. Go. feels amazing. You just keep telling yourself that. Yep. Yep. That was not graceful. 90-90. Right leg forward. Here we go. Right leg forward. Left leg back. Set it up. Bend. Push up. If you're pulsing, you're using that right heel to pulse. Not so much the back toes. The right heel. So you get right into that glute. Your option is to just hold an isometric. Okay, and now we're gonna have torpedo twist or neck. Change. Shake that off. Here we go. Set it up. Go. Bend the knee, shoot, bend, shoot. Your pace is your own, guys. If you want more, work harder, go faster. Three, two, change. Okay, beautiful, beautiful thing. We're going to go tricep dips, bicycle crunches. At this point, we can do that. My legs are burning, they're burning. Dripping sweat, not even in the hot room, just dripping sweat. Good, so that's good. I mean, maybe turn your heat up. Tricep dips, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Bicycle crunches are next. So we're gonna go every other on this one and we're gonna go right into burpees. Four sets of burpees, here we go. Set, reverse the tabletop, go. So the palms are facing out or forward. Bend the elbows, keep your glutes tight. Keep your core engaged, little micro bends. You can dig the heels into the mat. Doesn't this, this movement is not exaggerated. Little micro movements change. That one actually fast. Bicycle crunches, set yourself up right into it. Extend the legs out when you go. So don't, don't have like a bend 
knee, when you really reach that straight leg, keep it straight. Getting into the obliques, focusing on bicycle crunches, how it hits every muscle in your abs, the side, the bottom, the top, everything. Just visualize your results. Keep moving, keep it moving. Change. One more tricep dip, guys. One more. Here we go. Set it up. Go. Right into it. Almost there. I could feel it. And where are you? Change. All right. Bicycle crunches, guys. Here we go. Set it up. Yes. Dig deep. Go. Remember, we're gonna come into four sets of burpees after this. Four sets, come on. Almost there, change. Okay, we're doing burpees. Okay, so let's do that. We're gonna go 20 seconds. That's what I was doing with the timer. Changing it, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, four times. Four sets of burpees. Remember, pass through squat. Keep the heart going. Set it up. Arms up. Go. Four sets. Inhale. Exhale. Almost there. Change. First set down. Set two, here we go, set, go. Come on, come on. Inhale, exhale. Change. All right, set it up, set, go, right back into it. Palms press. Remember, burpees, you don't have to do the hop. You could always step back, step forward, come up, okay? You can squat the whole time if you have problems with the up and down. Wherever you are, do it, get it done. You can do it, change. Inhale, exhale. Here we go. Last set. Here we go. Go. Squat into it. Hop back, hop up. Almost there. Change. Take a drink. Wipe your sweat. Let's take a, ch a check. Okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna revisit some of that sequence all over again. It's your grand finale now, so it's gonna take you about six minutes. We're gonna do starting with the push-up plank jack and four sets. And uh, nobody's more upset about that than me because. You guys did awesome and I, I totally cheated on one of those sets. So we're doing that again. And that was in the books anyway. And then we're gonna come do some legs and then burpees. Okay, just I said it, so it's out there. We gotta do it, all right, come on. 
Uh, timer goes to 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. No more 30. So here you go, this is your grand finale. Think of it this way, we wanna get our muscles moving because a lot of times, you know, we're on lockdown, so we're not moving. I mean, I'm not moving nearly as much as I wish I could. So mind to the matter, just put yourself in that mindset where you wanna feel normal again, you wanna feel sore tomorrow. Some of us, that's normal. So let's do it, do it for tomorrow. Do it for you, okay? Uh, push up plank jack, here we go, set it up. Let's go, go. Four sets, guys. Plank jack, push up, plank jack, push up. And drop your knees if you have to. You can skip the push up if you want, or you can skip the plank jack if you want. Almost there. Let's change. <clears throat> One down. Here we go. Set two. Go. Plank jack. Push up. Right there, guys. Set your own goals. Change. All right, set it up. Here we go. Set. Go. Just keep moving, right? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Neutral spine. All right, change. Yes. All right, one more. One more. Give me one more. We need one more. Go. Make this one your best one. Finish stronger than you started. Almost there. And change. I couldn't do it. Come on. Let's get up. Torpedo squats. Let's get up. Shake it off. Here we go. Bend the knees. Go. Heels, toes, heels, toes, heels. Almost there, guys. Come on. Change. All right. Right leg swings, curtsy. Remember. Squat is always available this is for, for those of us with injuries. Go. Drive your leg up with your quad. Push into that left foot for balance. Left heel, mainly. Change, 90-90. I always face the side so you see what it looks like. Here we go, set it up. Go. We're so strong. So strong. So good. This is so good. Awesome change. Uh, torpedo twist. Here we go. Set it up. Go. <clears throat> Almost there. Change. One more round, guys. One more round. You know it's good. Dakota, here we go. Torpedo squats, that's Dakota. Dakota! Uh, okay, she's kind of, there she is. Isn't she beautiful? Torpedo squats. Come on. Change. 
Left leg lifts. Kick, lift, here we go, set it up. Dig deep, here we go, go. I'm really worried about my, my calf, but she's moving. Change, 90, 90, right leg forward. So good. So you gotta smile at this point because we're like right there. Here we go, set, go. When the clock is down to 20 to 10, 20, 10, it just feels amazing. It feels so strong. All right, torpedo twists. Here we go. Set it up. Go. Uh, go. I feel like we passed the hard part now. I don't know. Plank jack push ups. Very hard for me. <clears throat> change shake that off okay let's come down let's get some burpees going take a second take a drink wipe your sweat we just want to keep we want to keep our burpees happening okay heart rate going shake it off set it up four sets guys come on set go go come on up So you have a total of eight happening. Almost there. Change. Make sure you have a good song on. It's the best thing. Best thing for burpees is good music. Here we go, set. And go. We're right there. At this point, you're right there. There's no stopping you now. One more. Is there one more? Maybe that's not one. I'm not sure. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, change. We gotta do a bonus round because I completely lost track. One more. Now it's gonna be one more, I promise. No lies, no bullshit. Set and go. Come on. Put it out there. Trick your body one more time. That interval, up, down, fast pace, stop and go. It's what we do for the metabolism. Do it for that. Do it for summer. Do it for the lockdown. Change. That's definitely. Yes. Take a drink. Wipe your sweat. Come down, begin to breathe. Anything you need to do, getting your heart rate down. So amazing. Good, some active recovery. Just lying down on your back. Just, just begin to just bike it up just a little bit. Active recovery. Just slowing down the bike. Whatever your body needs right now. So one thing about Inferno is Savasana is non-negotiable. 
Begin to slow it down for five, four, three, two, good. Completely and totally relax on your back. Draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself that hug. Perhaps <clears throat> you wanna take a uh, reclined pigeon, make that fig figure four shape. Right ankle on top of the left knee. Draw your knee into the chest. Weave your arm through. Feel that stretch. So get a grip where the knee meets the shin. Pull, draw your knee in. Inhale and exhale. Always stretch. So perhaps if you have a yoga practice, you could get your yogi toe grip around the big toe, extend your left leg out, lift the right leg up, left hand goes to the hip, and open up out to the side. Make sure you keep your left shoulder grounded. So you want to get to the inside of that thigh because you might feel that tomorrow with our kicks and the bridges we did in the beginning. Draw that right leg back up and cross that right knee over the chest and twist it out. Keep your right shoulder grounded as you twist. Let's get to the other side. Obviously this is for you. Bring the left knee in. <clears throat> Take that figure four pigeon. Whew. So left ankle on top of the right knee. Reach through, get your grip. Drop. Obviously if it feels good, you don't have to stop. Maybe get your yogi toe grip, the two peace sign fingers around the big left toe. Extend that left leg up and out to the side. Right hand just on the hip to keep it grounded and level. Good, feel that stretch. You wanna stretch. I mean, we wanna be a little self sore, but you don't. I don't need you to not be able to walk. Drop your left shoulder down, so it's always important to stretch. You wanna feel like you woke up your muscles. So there's that difference. Good, and when you're done, Draw the knees into the chest and take that savasana, lying down on your back. Just relax. Relax and let go. Let your feet fall out to the side. As you just begin to breathe, inhale and exhale. The better you feel, the deeper you go. The deeper you go, the better you feel. And just notice how amazing you feel by now. You did the best you could with the best you've got, and your best is always enough. Whoever you are, whatever you do, when you do your absolute best, it's always enough. And you, just like me, can see new possibilities from here on out. So you will now just focus on breathing, having your body feel the muscles ticking into place as you allow that heart rate to slow down and every breath you take oxygen goes right through your circulation, relaxes you even more. Just notice how amazing this feels and just begin to focus on your present moment. Staying here, Savasana being non-negotiable, it's the most important. It's by far the most rewarding once it's conquered. So really try and work on this peace Stay here as long as you can. Don't get up. Feel grounded. Thank you so much for working out with me again for the second time. Let's do this again next week. Namaste.